Hi, I'm Jalisa. And I'm Shuki, and we're going to be your anchors for today. Uh, on Friday at 7 p.m., we had our homecoming football game. Uh, the score was 14 to 54, and we unfortunately lost. This team performed at the football game during halftime. Um, our gymnastics team is looking its very best, um, having the highest amount of participants we've seen so far at our school. We are thrilled to share that the late coach, Lou Parker, has been elected to be a part of the George Washington Athletics Hall of Fame. This highlights his extraordinary contributions to GMW's athletics. Coach Parker's legacy speaks for itself, uh, with seven boys and swim dive championships and ten lead championships from 1960 all the way to 1969. As a swimmer, his passion for the sport continued beyond coaching. Parker competed in the in this master division until the age of 83 and was inducted into the Colorado Master Swimming Association of 1986. Uh, on September 20, 2024, at the All City Stadium, we had a ceremony. Uh, we extended our heartfelt congratulations to the Parker family on the incredible honor that Coach Parker has left and the lasting impact on our school's athletics. We also had our homecoming dance on Saturday on 7 p.m. We had a great time. Uh, for our freshman homecoming royalty, we had Bryn Sheehan and Morgan Nelson. Sophomores, our winners were Ice Lomano and Maddox Carter. Our junior royalties were Leonard Kennedy and Laura Alt. And for our seniors, we had Travis Nugent and Sophia Island. We have a new step team here at George, led by Ms. Taj. Uh, Ms. Taj has been here at George for a couple months. We spoke with her and we asked her how she feels about the new step team. Our auditions have just begun for the team, and Miss Todd should be very confident and happy with the fact that many of the girls took initiative on their first try. Miss <laughs> Todd also said that she's here to change things up, and she hopes to bring more school spirit within with this step team. The step team is very successful and wins some trophies. Uh, both our softball and girls' flag football teams are doing fantastic. Uh, this is the first chassis sanctioned year for our girls' football team. Both teams have a chance at making the beach. Keep it up. Uh, over the last couple weeks, there have been some threats that are going around social media, specifically targeting some schools in Colorado. We talked to Dr. Davis, the principal here at GDA, about the international threats and the actions they're being taken to prioritize the safety of everyone. Dr. Davis has been working in the school for 31 years. Uh, during this interview, Dr. Davis mentioned that when the threats come about, she checks with the authorities to make sure that they are real. Dr. Davis also told us that she mostly feels frustrated because the online threats are rarely viable and they have no real intention. These threats are usually people hacking for information and this is called swatting. Uh, we spoke with a French teacher who has been teaching here for 12 years. Uh, we asked her how student behavior has improved greatly within the last school year. As we know, last year we had a lot of behavioral issues with the current sophomores. Several issues being from the current sophomores. However, the current sophomores have greatly improved as many teachers stated. Uh, the French teacher also said that they've grown a maturity, responsibility, and emotional awareness. So keep it up, sophomores. Freshmen this year are also doing great. The freshmen this year are less distracted by technology and outgoing, respectful individuals. Uh, this is a big change compared to our current sophomores' behavior last year, and we greatly appreciate the behavior from the freshmen this year so far. How about teacher you think you should? Have a teacher you think should be nominated for Teacher of the Week. Scan this QR code here and let us know who your Teacher of the Week is and why you think they should be Alright, Patriots, that is going to be all for today. Uh, we hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.